here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own toggle clasps and jump rings, and it's very, very easy. Um, all you need is either a jump ring maker or some knitting needles, skewers, anything you have that would be um, round, basically, and you're going to need some wire. And I am going to use um, this uh, aluminum, thick aluminum, probably about 14 gauge wire that I picked up at the dollar store in the floral department. I'm just going to make sure I have it nice and straight. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is make the funky toggle there because I just ran out of toggle clasps and I want to do some jewelry making this weekend and there's no way I'm taking my kids to the craft store because I won't walk out of there without spending $100 if I do that. So basically what you want to do is start with a piece of relatively straight wire and you want to use your needle nose pliers or your 3-in-1 tool and you want to grasp the wire about a half an inch away from the end. Um, you want to be pretty close to the end of your pliers, but you need a little room to be able to wrap onto. So then you want to, using your hands, pull your wire around the pliers so that um, it just barely crosses the, um, the wire like that. So it just barely crosses itself. Then you're going to reinsert your pliers and you're going to pull it the rest of the way so you end up with kind of a loop with a flat top. You see that? Let me bring it up a little bit closer. All right, then you're going to make a cut about a half an inch away from that loop. Just using your um, diagonal side plier cutters here, or flush cutters, or your three-in-one tool, that'll work fine. And then you have a little toggle that looks like that. Now it's very uh, modern, urban, trendy looking. Uh, the thing you need to do now, the only thing you really need to do is just file the ends so they won't scratch anybody or snag anybody's clothing when they wear it. And I'm just using a little, um, this is actually a scrapbooking file, a basic gray scrapbooking file, but any file from the hardware store or even the dollar store will work just fine, or sharpening stone, anything that you can dull down that um, edge so it doesn't scratch anybody will be just fine. And it only takes a couple seconds in there. That's nice and smooth and rounded over. All right, so now we need the round part that this toggle is going to go into. If you notice that you've got any little bumps or it's not perfectly flat, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but if you do need to reshape it, use a little, um, some rubber tipped pliers and then you can kind of bend it without scratching the surface. And if you do have a scratch, then just use a Sharpie to touch it up and you should be fine. All right, it's just aluminum. It's not, you know, sterling silver or anything. You're not gonna, you're not gonna ruin it. All right, so to make the jump rings, the, the back of the toggle, you actually need to make a split ring. Otherwise, if you use something like tiger tail or thin wire, it might come through. So to make a split ring, you can use any sort of uh, knitting needle or cylinder that you have, and you want to wrap your wire around three times. So if you're going to do a bunch, you just want to make a big long coil and then cut them apart and you won't waste as much. But I just need to make one, so I'm going to wrap it three times. And then I'm going to use my cutters, which are under my plier pile here. And I'm going to cut through one layer here, my first ring. And you might have to pull apart a little bit, don't worry about that. All right, and then I'm going to cut, I'm going to leave the second ring alone and I'm going to cut through the third ring opposite where I cut the first one. So they're all kind of lined right up. Now, if I want to make a jump ring instead, I could just cut straight through and I'd have two jump rings right there. So that's the only difference. The split ring has an extra loop. So just keep that away, file that away in the old brain attic and you'll know what to do next time. So that's not very sharp, but if you did feel some sharp areas, you could go ahead and uh, file them down. Just be careful not to rub the color off of your wire if it's coated. I just like to go through with my pliers here a little bit and make sure everything's lining up really good um, on these big toggles. You wouldn't need to do that on a small jump ring. Whoops. And if you do happen to pull something out of whack, you can push it back. Now, when I'm pinching around here with these nylon tipped pliers, I'm actually hardening my wire a little bit, so it's going to keep it from uh, smushing out when I um, go to use that on a bracelet. If you get it really out of whack, you can put it back on the jump ring maker and reshape it, which I probably will have to do in this case because my pliers slipped. And that's no big deal. That's very easy to do. So there you have it. Uh, how to make toggles, jump rings, and um, that'll save you a trip to the store. We'll show you a jump ring really quick, just in case you didn't quite get it. Um, I generally will use um, smaller wire for jump rings and a smaller, my smaller jump ring maker. But to do a jump ring, you do the same exact thing. You would just coil your wire around. It's better to make more a bunch at once because then you don't waste. You cut through all your wires at once and you're left with a jump ring. So easy and quite affordable if you have the wire on hand. I want to thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And until next time, happy crafting.